recording. Okay, okay, folks, welcome back. We're doing an algebra solving equations two and three step. First of all, I would like to do some revision on the one step questions, and I'll put two uh, questions there. So, can I have uh, Mr. Maher, please? Can you join me by unmuting yourself only? Everybody, please leave your videos off. So, Maher, okay. let's do some revision on our last week's work. So, we need to work out the value of x, Maher. So, can you tell me what's being done to the x, which I'm going to write? It's so what you do first is 9 uh, times 4 and then there's your answer. So 9 times 4 so is the reason, the reason why you've done 9 times by 4 because opposite divide by 9 is? Times. Times by 9. So then we can say x is equal to? Uh, x is equal to 36. Fantastic. And that's what I want to see in your work. I want to see the divide by 9 circle. I want to see a nice curly arrow. I want to see a nice little baby time by nine on the side, not too close to the four, uh, in a different color, preferably. Equal signs lined up, X lined up as much as possible, and the lovely 36 on the right-hand side. Okay, Mahir, that was an excellent example there. Uh, let's do top, let's top it up now. Now, how do you do it, number 32? So, what you do now is you divide, uh, and you, do, you you make 170 and divide it by 9. So why so, have you divided it by 9? Explain to the class. Because that's the, because that's the way, it's the opposite of times and you okay. first in that you need to times it. Okay, lovely. So you have to start with the x. x has been timed by 9 and, and to equal 117. So the opposite of multiplying by 9 is dividing by 9. So we got 117 and we're going to divide it by 9. So after we go, do that for me now, please. Oh, what do we get? So nine goes into one, zero, remainder one, and then? Uh, then you, uh, then nine. it'd be nine, how many nines go into 11? It's one, remainder two, and then that, uh, then how many nines go into 27? It's three, so your answer is 13. Okay, lovely. So that's an example of the working out that we were supposed to be doing last week. If you haven't done that kind of working out last week, then you need to take a very, very careful note. I need to see circles, grab the thing, take it over to the other side, and that's opposite times is divide, opposite divide is times. So let's now take that to a two-step question. So where do we start the question? Let's have a, uh, let's have a, Mr. Mr. Hamza, where do we start the question? Um, 2x. So first of all, we start at physically looking at which letter, which we look at the x. At the x. Now, x. what's been what's been done to the x? To explain to the class. Um, it's it's a number, but it's been turned into x, and we're yeah. meant to work it out. Yeah, but what's what's been done to x here? Have a look, the little green little mini here. What's been done to the x? It's a time smaller. It's been timed by two. That's the first action. So x has been doubled. That's what the two is doing next to the x. It's doubling it. What is the next thing that was done to the x? What's the next thing? Uh, plus. It's been plus by three. So x has been x has been first of all doubled, and then it's been added by three, and the answer is thirteen. Thirteen. Now, when we solve this double step question, we got two steps to uh, and, uh, to move over. Which order shall I do them in, Hamza? Um, backward. Backward. Fantastic. You always start from the last action, so the backward would mean starting from the second action plus the opposite add three is. Take away. Three. So let's copy everything down underneath now. So I can bring two x a little bit closer. So you got 13 minus, what's 13 minus 10? So 13 minus three. Um, three. 13 minus three is? Oh, 13 minus three. Is? 10. Is 10, excellent. 10. So what do you move over now? Um, the x. The time by I mean two. two. The time by two goes over. I want everybody copying exactly what I am doing right now. Put the light on. 
So what's the final answer then? Opposite time by two is divide by two on the other side. So what's the final answer? 10 divided by two equals Equal? five. And five. And don't forget to underline your answer. So what you see there is what I want to see in your homework every single question. First action, second action, circle, grab, move it to the other side. Everything done in a most beautiful display of working out. Okay, you don't need to start using mad highlighters and stuff, but if you could just use a different color for the circling uh, and the same color for the arrow and the little baby divide by two and the little baby minus three, then that would be lovely. So on this side, we had one step last week and now we have how many steps? Two steps. Two steps. But you have to go in reverse order as you said very clearly in the beginning of the question. Okay, so I want you everybody to copy that exactly as you see it on the page. Look at the setting. We have a title, date, double margin, subtitle, question written out clearly, the question number in the margin, well, nearly in the margin for this case. Uh, everything labeled up, everything circled, everything moved to the other side, everything done clearly and beautifully and in a flow. Okay, let's, let's find somebody to do another question for me. So, Omeza, I want you to do another one question for me now. Let me grab a question. Question number 14. Oops, I don't want to turn it around. Okay, well, I'm trying to put in the margin. It's not actually going across, but you get my idea. The number 14 should be on the left-hand side in the margin uh, because I've cut and pasted. It. It's not sitting in the place I want it to sit, so apologies for that. Okay, right, let's uh, move this question down a bit. I don't want to be too close to the other one. Okay, that's better. Okay, Omeza, unmute yourself, and let's join me on this question. So uh, we want to work out the value of X, Omeza. So I need you to help me to read this question first of all and to identify what's first and what's second. So we're going to always start by looking at the X. We will start at the X. So what's been done to the X, Omeza? It's been times by six. Is that the first or the second action? The first. Which is the second action? The second action is the a plus eight. And which action do I move first? You do the plus eight first because we're um, working backwards. We're working backwards. We, uh, so I'm going to grab it with my highlighter. Now, we are currently on the right-hand side equal. So we, I'll move from the right to the right or right to the left? Right to the left. Right to the left, obviously. We're changing side. Right to the left. Opposite of add eight is? Minus eight. A little baby minus eight. Not just eight. Not just mindset, but baby mindset right at the top, away from the main part of the question. Okay, now, what is 68 minus 8 then? Work that out for me. 60. Fantastic. Let's write that down on the left-hand side in the correct position. Okay, and let me move this a little bit down. It's a little bit too close. Give me a second. Let me move it down a bit. Okay, that's beautiful there. So, Omeza, so what do, I have to, what do you have to move now? We have to move on to the first step, and because it's a times, we have to divide by so we six. We grab the time by six. I'm grabbing it with my highlighter. We take it to the other side. What does it become? It becomes divide by six. And a little baby divide by six. Not divide by six. A little baby divide by six on the side. So what is 60 divided by six? 60 divided by six is 10. I can move the X a little bit closer to the equal to make it look a bit nicer. So it's all about setting the work out clearly. Okay, lovely. Now, I want you to look at some key bits that I've done here. Look, my equals are lined up. Things that are moving from the right to the left are now appearing on the left-hand side. Don't start swapping over sides. I want your working out to be done exactly, identically, mimicking what you're seeing here right in front of you 
So this is physical in front of you in your lesson. You'll have the recording of the video as well. And on top of that, you'll have the class notes. I want to see identical working out to what I'm showing you now, not any other style. Don't stop and start the question. I want to see a nice flow of the question. Okay, that's been done beautifully. Right, does anybody need any further examples in the class? Put your hand up next to your name. Otherwise, I can start uh, you on some, uh, some of the questions. Okay, okay, Mr. M okay, Mr. Musa would like me to do an extra question. Okay, no problem, Mr. Musa. All right, let's choose a take it. Let's choose a minus question for Mr. Musa. Mm. Okay, Mr. Musa, let's give him number 13. Okay, Mr. Musa, you can join me. I've got a better way. Let's, let's delete that. Let's, let's go. What question was it? Give me a second, Mr. Musa. I've got to find a way around this. Number 13. That's better. I, I, didn't, I didn't copy the question number in. Okay, so Mr. Musa, unmute yourself and join me in this question, in this quest. Okay. All right, so Mr. Musa needs a score for it. Where's Mr. Musa gone? Come on, Musa, join me, please. So, so, so first you do, you figure out what's first and what's second. So what so, is first and what is first and second? So eight times x is um, the first one, and twelve um, tw minus twelve is the second one. Okay, which one shall I move first? You should move the second one first. So what's opposite of minus twelve? Minus I'll add twelve. Baby minus baby plus twelve. Excellent. What's sixty-eight add twelve? Um, eighty. What do you move next? Uh, for, and then we move the, then we move eight times x. Okay, look at my highlighted, uh, uh, my highlights. Okay, yeah. And so the opposite of timesing by eight is dividing by eight. And a little baby divide by eight as well, not a big massive bazooki one. Big one, a small one, please. Eighty divided by eight is. Eighty divided by eight is um ten. So x. 10 equals x. And we have finished the? Algebra. The, algebra. the question. Lovely. Okay, you ready now to do some questions now for me? Yeah. Okay, let me choose some questions for you then. Okay. All right, let's, let's try a couple here. Mm -hmm. These ones. Let me actually cut them out for you. Copy. Let me copy some takeaway ones as well. Off you go. You got six questions to do. Let's get the timer. Let's put the timer on. Okay, right. Okay, so question number 13. So my let's have a look at this question together. We want to work out the value of x. What's been done to the x? It's been times by two, and then it's been added by nine. Nine. So the opposite of adding nine is? Dividing nine. Minus nine. Oh, I mean take three. Yeah, 20 minus nine is? 20 minus nine is 11. Is 11. So what's the opposite of time by two? Divide by two. So remember you gotta circle it. Uh, you gotta have a little bendy arrow. A little baby divided by two. And what's the final answer? Um, is that five point 
5.5, which is five and a half. Okay. Done. Number seven, Mahir, let's go for the next one. You want okay. to look at the value of x. So you start at the x. X is being timed by two, that's called the? Uh, first action. First action. And the minus three is the? Second action. Okay, which one do I move first? The second action. Opposite the minus three on the left is, uh, is one is? Add. Add three on the right. So what is two add three? Uh, two add three is five. Okay. And what's the opposite of time by two? Um, is divide by two. Okay, so what is uh, five divided by two? Is it 2.5? 2.5 or two and a half. Done. So then are those two questions done for you. Hopefully that helps. The answers for the other class of questions on the right hand side written down for you. So please check out your answers for whatever you've done so far. Are there any further questions? No. Everybody please mark your work, please. And now we're gonna move on to three step questions. Sir? Yes? I got them all right. Fantastic, young man. Fantastic. Okay. Let's start this question here. Copy. Okay, let's see. Let's put over here. Okay, next. Mm. Well, I think I need to increase. I need to, uh, I need to carry on my, my lines. Okay. There we go. Okay, now I think we're gonna, uh, okay, let's... Let's make it nice and clear. Question number four. Okay, right, I need, uh, Omeza, please join me on this question. So we're looking at a three-step question. Now remember, uh, what I said to you before, the format, I want double margin, everything circled and uh, curly arrows, numbered first, second, opposite, add nine, minus opposite, time by two. I don't want separate written calculation. Everything must flow as it is in the diagram. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's put some colors back in. So we've got some little bit of color here. We go over there. We got this one over here. We go over there. And we go over here to over there. And we go from over here to over there. We got that bit on there. Everything is clearly done. We, we. Okay, everything looks lovely. So here we go. Margin. Question written down. Question number in the margin. And it's Omeza. Okay, so Amaza, let's go for that question together, please. Let's go. So Amaza, tell me, what do we? How do we work out the value of x? What do we do? Um. Okay, we we start at the x and read the read. actions. Yeah. So what's been done to the x? So the x has been times by two, then it's been added by one, and then it equals 21. You missed one of the actions out. Uh, There's a, what's happening to the brackets outside of the three? It's being times. Ah, yes. So how many actions are there now? Three. There's three actions. X has been timed by two, it's been added by one and timed by three. Now, we are not reading the actions from right to left. We're not reading them that way. Our action starts here, number one, then number two, and then number three. So there's no particular 
in like a design of the actions apart from we have to read the actions in such a way that we are reading the question carefully and in the order in which X has been operated on. So even though the time by three has been physically written first, it is actually third. Okay, right, so give me one second. So uh, which one do we move first then, um, uh, Umeza? We do the first step first. Oh, in the previous question, we always done the last action first. Remember? Yeah. So you don't do the first step first. Which one do you move first? Do you move the first, second or third one first? The third one first. The third one first. Well done, madam. You hit it on the head. Opposite time by three years? Divide by three. You gotta grab it with a circle and nice curly, a nice lovely little uh, bendy arrow. And opposite time by three is a baby divide by three. Remember the keyword baby divide by three. Nice small one on the side. So what is 21 divided by three? 21 divided by three is seven. Beautiful. Now, I have written down everything that's left over, but I've missed out the brackets. Why have I missed out the brackets? Because... You don't need them anymore? That's the reason. The brackets, we don't need them anymore because the brackets were being held together by the time by three. Now that the time by three has gone away, it's gone on the other side. We don't need the brackets anymore at all. There's no need for them to be there. So we can, the brackets, you can just think of them like they evaporate like a puddle evaporates. So we've got to work out the value of X still. We're still counting the X. So you move the third action first, and then which is the action you move next? The second action, which is plus one. That, so you grab it with a circle, you take it to the other side, it becomes a, uh, a little one. baby, minus one. Seven minus one is six. Okay, so what we got left over now to move now? Um, the, the, the times by two. And what's it become? A baby divided by two. Fantastic, lovely, well done. So what do we have next? Um, six divided by two equals three. So X equals three. Lovely, that's it. So how many steps did we do now? How many jumps did we have? We did three steps because there was three Actions. different parts. Lovely, there you go. Look, I've highlighted them for you as well. So there's no mistaking them. Okay, do we need to do another example? I'm looking for a show of hands next to your names. Do we need to do another example? Yes, no? Okay, Musa saying yes. Anybody else? Mahir, should we should do another example? Yeah. Okay, lovely. Let's find another example then. Let's find something nice and tasty. Nice and juicy. Question number 18. Uh -huh. Oops, come on. That's better. Question number 18 in the margin. Okay, let's make it a little bit smaller. It's too big. Okay, Mr. Musa, join me on this question. Mr. Musa, join me. Let's go. Okay, so first we identify the third, the second, and the first step. So which is the first step? The first step is 5x. The first step is time by 5. Yeah. What's the second one? The second step, the second step is minus 3. And what's the third step? The third step is 7. And the 7 itself is not a step, you've got to give me a little bit more. It's not 7, but there's a little baby, what in here? Times. So it's so time by 7. So not 7, but times by 7. Lovely. So which one shall I move first? You, uh, you should move the third one first. Which is what? Just seven times. And opposite time by seven is? Divide by seven. Okay, what's 84 divided by seven? 12. Okay, what happens to the brackets when, when we move the multiply outside? What happens to it? They disappear, they evaporate. Evaporate, okay, fantastic, I love it. Let's go. 
Okay, so, so what, do we move, what do we move next now? The, we've done the this, third action, which is the next one to be moved? We do the second action, which is minus three. Grab, so it, then, grab it, take it over, and you, you write a big plus three or a baby minus three? Baby plus three. Baby plus three. Well done. Got, got you there. Excellent. So, so, let's have a look. So, what is 12 add three? 12 add three is 15. Okay, don't ask me what that is. 15, 84. Okay, lovely. And what do we move last? The first step, which is times by five. And we so do, do a little baby. We do a little baby divide by five. So when I say baby, I literally mean like a small divide by five, not a big, massive, humongous one. Not one on top of the one. I don't want to get mixing with the question. It's got to be a little and to the side and in a different color if possible. So... So what is, uh, what's 15 divided by 5? 15 divided by 5 is 3. And is that the final answer? Yes. Okay, there's our two lovely examples. Now I'm going to set you on some questions to do now. Okay, let me give you a couple of questions to do. Okay, I'll just set the questions across the page for the moment, but I want you to set them up properly, please, when you do your work. I'm just going to pause the video now. So off you go, you got those three questions, you got five minutes with them. Okay, question number five. We're gonna start at x minus one is the first action, time by four is the second action. So opposite time by four is divide by four. We're left with x minus one is equal to two. Then opposite of minus one is add one. So they say x is equal to three, done. Now for the next question, I'm gonna cut it out because it's across the margin, cut. Oops, don't do that. Oops, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's do it again. Okay, no, what's going on here? Give me a second. Let me see if I can cut and paste it. Uh, copy. Oh, it's copied with the lines in it. Okay, now that's not gonna be very nice. All right, let's just delete that. Because that I'll just write that manually. Okay, give me a second. We'll just do that again. 16 equals 4, 5, x minus 6. And then this side we have 66 equals 6, 6, x minus 7. Okay, we'll go through that one there. So x is being timed by 5 first, minus 6 second, and time by 4 third. So the opposite time by 4 is divide by 4. So the brackets now disappear. Now we're gonna move the second action up to the minus six is plus six. And then opposite of time by five is divide by five, two equals x. So the first one, question number five, the answer was three. And then question number 12, the answer is two. And now here's gonna be question number 19. Okay, so we look at the x first, it's been timed by 6 first, minus 7 second, timed by 6 third. So move the third action first. Opposite time by 6 is divide by 6. Once you move the multiplier outside the brackets, the brackets disappear, and you're just left with that. You move the second action now, and we do opposite minus 7 is add 7. Copy down the 6x. Then opposite of, of time by six is divide by six. Done. Okay, everybody please check your answers. Oh, screen's paused. Sorry about that folks, uh, I, I didn't realize the screen was paused. Here we go. I'll just go through those verbally. So I'll, for question number five, uh, the first action was, was minus one, second action was time by four. Uh, I'm surprised nobody said that, sir, we can't see anything, we can just hear you. 
Everybody was just sitting in the, and that's a quietly while I went through three questions. The screen was paused. You need to say something, students. I told you in chat. Okay, you should just open your microphone and say, sir, we can't see anything and I would have quickly opened up. No problem, it's been done now. I'll just read through now. I'll read through with the highlighter. So we had uh, minus one is the first action, time by four second. Move the time by four first. That gives you eight divided by four is two. And then you move the minus one next becomes plus one. So X equals three. Okay, there are all those. Now, next question. We're gonna start with the X. The time by five is the first action, minus six is the second action. Time by four is the third action. So you've got to move the time by four first, becomes divide by four. 16 divided by four is four. And then you move the minus six, which is the second action. Up to the time by minus six is plus six. That gives you 10. Then you move the time by five over that. That becomes a divide by five. That gives you two. Question done. Question number 19, we start at the X. Time by six is the first action. Minus seven is the second action. Time by six is the third action. Move the third action first, opposite time is divided by six. Time by six is divided by six. And that gives you 66 divided by six is 11. Then you move the minus seven, all the brackets disappear. Minus seven is add seven, 11 add seven is 18. Then you go back to the right hand side, opposite time by six is divided by six. So X is equal to three. And that's the end of today's lesson. And that's the end of today's lovely maths video on algebra solving equations two and three steps. Okay, thank you students. Uh, uh, thank you for, uh, for being patient in the lesson and doing them really nicely.